Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I will be going over these fragrances that I have been using this past week. So I've been trying to be more creative when it comes to the fragrances that I use. I try to not stick to the basic five fragrances that I always reach for, the basic five that I know I will always use on a daily. So I've been challenging myself to use most of the fragrances that I have in my collection. So instead of focusing on trying new fragrances, buying new fragrances, I try to enjoy the ones that I currently have. So the past week, I have been reaching for these fragrances. So I'm going to start with a beautiful rose fragrance. This one is from M. Mikalef. This is Mon Parfum Cristal. So I know a lot of people talk about this as being a caramel toffee kind of a fragrance, but for me, this is essentially a rose fragrance. The rose here is amped up by the beautiful pink pepper note that is very noticeable in the entrance. This one, before it settles down into that sweet toffee kind of a scent, it starts off as a fresh floral, more like a shampoo-y kind of a scent. So for the notes, this one has pink pepper, it has rose, cinnamon, and toffee. This one is really beautiful. I have a feeling that the longer I have this in my collection, the more that toffee comes out in the base. I think I bought this one spring of this year. I'm not really so sure, but right now, it's still leaning, very shampoo-y, very fresh rose, strong on pink pepper. This one belongs to the same scent family as I would say Idol. They don't smell the same. They're not dupes. They're not similar scents at all. But just to give you an idea of how the rose is, it's very similar to that, like a fresh pink rose kind of a scent. So this is Amicalef's Mon Parfum Cristal. And then I've been reaching for this very sweet vanilla pear fragrance. This one was a gift from my perfume fairy, Stephanie. This is Field Escape from the Perfumist. So you can't see the label or the name. So it's right there, the Perfumist. So I'm not really very familiar with this um, perfume brand, but this one is really, really nice, you guys. It reminds me, I think I mentioned in my haul video or like my fragrance gifts video. This one reminds me a lot of Pear Glaze, those body mists from Victoria's Secret or Bath and Body Works. This one centers on pear and vanilla and it's very sweet to the point that it can be cloying, especially during the super cold seasons. But I don't know, I've been reaching for this one because this one gives me like a sweater weather kind of a vibe. I don't know, like it gives me wool blankets kind of a feeling. I guess it's because of the kind of vanilla that's in here. It's a warm vanilla paired with a juicy pear. I really enjoy wearing this one because it keeps me feeling fresh. It's a very bright, sparkly, happy kind of a scent. And um, this one doesn't really project that much. It can be overly sweet during the first 30 minutes of wear, but then it dries down to a beautiful warm vanilla. So this this is the Perfumist Field Escape. Most of the fragrances here belong to that fresh floral drying down into something sweet or powdery. I guess I've just been itching for those unconventional fall and winter fragrances. Like instead of reaching for the Gourmands, like what I've been reaching for like two weeks ago, the past week, I just wanted something fresh and sparkly. I just, it's just me dealing with the bleak, gray, and cold um, season that we have right now. So another one that's very fresh and sparkly, this one from Mancera, this is Pink Prestigium. This one, I always say, is really, really beautiful. It's unique. It is a rose fragrance. It has oud, it has leather. But what I really get in here, especially in the entrance, is that black currant and bergamot. It's very fresh also with grapefruit as well it's sparkly it's zesty like every time i wear this it just makes me feel really happy this is a sparkly zesty zingy kind of a scent and then as it develops it becomes that beautiful rose it's mostly like pink roses it's not like a dark powdery rose it's fresh again retaining that zesty citrusy quality and in the dry down you get hints of oud hints of the leather it's not overpowering the whole scent it's mainly a rose scent with bunch of fruits and citruses. This one is an all year kind of a scent. And I guess most of the fragrances here that I have been reaching for are all year scents. So I'm going to talk about one that I am still loving. I have a separate video of this one. Okay, so this is a very um, polarizing scent. This is Sarah Jessica Parker's Lovely. This is 
lavender, narcissus, and musk. It has bergamot. It also has some woody notes in here as well. But this is mainly a musk fragrance. It's something that most people would describe as, you know, old lady-ish or mature. And yeah, I do understand why they say that because, you know, musk and white florals together usually give off that kind of feeling. But this one to me, because of that lavender, because of some citruses and the woody base, this this is this will forever be a favorite in my collection. I usually wear this as my bedtime scent because, you know, I just love sleeping smelling that beautiful musk and then waking up and smelling as if i just sprayed it on my skin so this is how long lasting it is on me so this is lovely by sarah jessica parker still loving this one and then i have this i bought this because of heart evangelista signorina salvatore ferragamo and i think this is the eau de parfum yes it is i know they have an eau de toilette and i think the difference is in the color of the bow the edt i think comes in like a purplish shade while this one is more pink so this one i got aside from you know being featured in heart evangelista's video i got this because of the note panna cotta so that's a dessert and I just thought, okay, miss, maybe this is more of a Guermont fragrance. But this is another rose fragrance. It is a rose peony kind of a scent. Those are the main notes in this fragrance, rose and peony. And then this one also has pink pepper. Pink pepper and rose, they go well together. But compared to, for example, um, Amica Lef, this one is more of a spicy red and pink rose kind of a scent i guess the cinnamon also adds that dusty quality to the rose even though it's a fresh kind of a rose this one because it's paired with peony it remains in that fresh lemony uh category so it also has citruses on top and it has that vanilla fluffy musky panna cotta kind of a base so this one is a very girly scent i really enjoy wearing this. every time i spray it i just feel very feminine very girly girly very almost like demure and just quiet sort of but also very adventurous and sexy it is everything in one bottle the only downside to this one is that it doesn't really last that long i mean it does maybe it can reach four to six hours like it depends on how much i spray even then when it reaches four to six it becomes a very 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 soft scent you have to really put your nose very close to your skin to be able to detect it so this is that kind of scent where you have to respray and overspray and reapply during the middle of the day but i really love this one signorina edp by salvatore ferragamo and then this one was another surprising choice well not really surprising because i love this one this is divine and font by i'm gonna say eldo i chose this one because i know this is more of a fresh powdery kind of a scent but it has marshmallow and i was really interested to experience how the marshmallow is during cooler weather the marshmallow here is combined with many unique notes or like the notes that you wouldn't really expect to blend well with marshmallow this one has tobacco it has orange flower it has coffee and tonka so you know, imagining that together with marshmallow and working very well, that's what makes me fall in love with perfumery. This is basically an orange flower rose fragrance. So imagine those two florals as the body of the scent. And then you have whiffs of that coffee, whiffs of, you know, leather. Leather isn't really strong in here, but, you know, if you are very picky when it comes to leather as a perfume note, then you would definitely get it in this fragrance. But... Again, as I mentioned, it's mainly an orange flower rose fragrance. And in the dry down, all the sweet notes together like tonka bean. Tonka bean can give that very warm, powdery, almost vanilla-ish vibe in a scent. Then pair that with marshmallow. This one is really, really nice scent. Divine and Font by Aldo. And another sweet floral fragrance. This one is another rose fragrance. This is Prada Sugar Pop, another gift from my perfume fairy. Um, this one, I was really surprised with this one, you guys. When I first tested it, I got a lot of citruses and I wasn't really getting that sugar pop like I expected. I expected this one to be like a sugar bomb kind of a scent, but I didn't really get that when I first tried this fragrance. So that's why I decided, hey, I'm just going to use it. So I used this in one of my days off and this one, I finally got the sugar pop 
that's why it's called the sugar pop. Sweet sugary quality in here comes from caramel. So caramel paired with vanilla. I still got a lot of citruses. This is ju that's just the whole entrance here. So tons of citruses like orange, bergamot, maybe some grapefruit. Very similar to the sparkly, sweet, citrusy kind of character to pink prestigium. Very similar to that. And this one then develops into a powdery this fragrance. This one is really nice. It's like a very easy to wear kind of a fragrance. I can see myself wearing this a lot during spring and summer. I would say that this one is more of a spring and summer scent than it is fall and winter. But just like what I said with all these fragrances here, they are all year kind of fragrances. So the last one for today's video, this is Prada Sugar Pop. That is it for today's video, you guys. These are the fragrances that I've been wearing during the past week. I know I mentioned some fragrances in my last um, perfume rotation video that I'll still be using them, and I did. Fragrances like By the Fireplace, I've still been using. But these are the ones that I paid more attention to and gave more focus on. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Like I always say in every single content, have fun, much love, stay safe, and see you in the next one.